Hi everyone, next up in our video, we're shining the spotlight on the planet's most jaw-dropping inhabitants. We're counting down the top 10 amazing creatures that will make you question reality itself. Let's get started. Welcome to the incredible world of nature, where each creature has its own set of unique abilities and talents. Today we start our review with one of the most unusual inhabitants of the Borneo rainforest. Meet the Ibicus Racheli, colloquially known as the ninja slug. This astounding gastropod is not like its kin. While most snails are content munching on detritus or plant matter, the ninja slug has evolved a rather specialized set of skills. With an elongated flexible proboscis, this snail is equipped to launch a chitinous dart-like structure, known as a love dart, to immobilize its prey. In true ninja fashion, the dart is shot with remarkable accuracy, rendering its victim unable to move. The slug then takes its time to consume the helpless prey. The ninja slug serves as a mesmerizing example of the complex and surprising behaviors found in even the smallest corners of our planet. Who knew that such an unassuming creature could be so awe-inspiring? Expanding our exploration of the extraordinary, we venture into the arid landscapes and intermittent water bodies of Africa. Here we encounter a living marvel that scoffs at the most inhospitable conditions, the Protopterus. This fascinating fish can be found in stagnant freshwater bodies that often dry out completely. But desiccation is not a death sentence for the Protopterus. It has a unique knack for survival. It goes into a state of deep hibernation that can last up to an incredible four years. There are four known species of Protopterus, with sizes ranging from a mere 50 chem to a massive 2 meters. What sets this fish apart is its dual respiratory system. Equipped with both gills and lungs, it can breathe both in water and air. Interestingly, Protopterus prefer lung breathing and often come up to the surface to gulp air making a loud, squealing noise as they inhale. As Africa's dry season kicks in, these fish gear up for their long hibernation, usually lasting six to nine months. To survive the arid conditions, they burrow nests into the lake bed, hide within them, and wait for the water to vanish. Protopterus then secretes a special mucus that, upon drying, forms a protective cocoon. Within this haven, they lose about 20 of their body weight during their dormancy. As if this weren't curious enough, the Protopterus has a preferred sleep position, curled tightly upon itself. Locals have a peculiar way of harvesting these unique fish. They dig them up like tubers from the ground. To locate the hidden fish, people sometimes use drums. Mistaking the drum beats for the sound of rainfall, Protopterus make distinct noises that guide the diggers to their location. Kept frequently in aquariums due to their hardy nature, Protopterus can tolerate even turbid waters. Scientists are showing keen interest in these resilient creatures, hoping that their hibernation secrets may yield effective sedatives. So if you thought fish were just creatures of the deep, the Protopterus is here to challenge your perception, demonstrating that even fish can rule the dry lands. So what's next on our awe-inspiring tour? Buckle up, because we're zooming straight into the heart of Australia to meet none other than the perplexing, the mysterious, the absolutely mind-boggling, yes, you guessed it, the platypus. First discovered by British zoologists in 1797, the platypus baffled scientists with its beaver-like body, duck bill, and webbed feet, many thought it was a hoax. But the platypus is real, and it defies categorization. About 40 to 50 cm long and weighing roughly 2 kilograms, this oddball boasts a dark brown fur coat and a tail that measures up to 15 cm. Its bill, around 6.5 cm long and 5 cm wide, even has teeth that wear down with age. Its versatile feet serve multiple purposes. Equipped with sharp claws for digging and webbing for swimming, a true amphibious lifestyle, spending up to 10 hours a day in the water to catch small invertebrates. And if that isn't intriguing enough, the female lays eggs like a bird or reptile, yet nourishes her young with milk. 
Yes, in the case of the platypus, Mother Nature truly let her imagination run wild. Strap in as we head to the West African mangroves to meet an animal that defies all odds. It swims, it climbs, it leaps, but it's not what you'd expect. Ready for the big reveal. Meet the extraordinary mudskipper. This isn't just any fish. Measuring a compact 15 centimeters, the mudskipper uses its powerful pectoral fins to do more than just swim, it leaps walks and can even hop up to an astonishing 60 centimeters. Talk about acrobatics. And wait, there's more. The mudskipper takes tree climbing to new heights, gripping trunks like a pro and propelling itself upward, who knew fish could be arboreal. Survival skills, check. To keep breathing on land, these extraordinary swimmers take a mouthful of water and gulp down air, keeping those vital gills moist. But that's not all. Each male crafts his very own unyued castles for the female to lay her eggs. A nifty little love nest 30-50 centimeters deep. From land to water and even up the trees, the mud skipper never fails to amaze. And that's why it's our spotlight adventurer today. Get ready for a jaw-dring reveal as we dive into the coastal waters of the Philippines, Japan, and Indonesia. Picture an animal with the cuteness of a lamb but an ability you'd attribute to plants. Are you baffled yet? Meet the sea sheep, a creature that seamlessly blends the realms of fauna and flora. Discovered as recently as 1993, this extraordinary mollusk resides in the coastal waters of the Philippines, Japan, and Indonesia. It has captured hearts worldwide with its incredibly cute appearance and an ability usually reserved for plants' photosynthesis. Tiny but compelling, the sea sheep measures only 0.5 to 1 cm in length. On its head, you'll find two small eyes, while on the top are two rhinophores, chemosensory tentacles adorned with sensitive hairs. These rhinophores help the sea sheep to locate food underwater and resemble sheep's ears, hence its adorable name. But wait, there's more. The sea sheep feeds on algae but doesn't digest their chloroplasts. Instead, it stores them in its body. These stored chloroplasts allow it to perform a stunning feat photosynthesis. Yep, this critter transforms sunlight and carbon dioxide into nutrients, an extraordinary process scientifically known as kleptoplasty. There you have it, folks. The sea sheep, a one-of-a-kind marvel that challenges our understanding of what it means to be an animal. And now, our next featured guest in this video is nothing short of an enigmatic marvel of the deep. The Psychedelic Fish First described in the late 1960s, this fantastical fish has been a subject of intrigue among marine biologists and fish enthusiasts alike. Native to the Pacific Ocean, its breathtaking colors are not just for show. These vibrant hues act as a camouflage, blending the fish into its equally colorful coral reef habitat. The psychedelic fish is small in size, but it packs a punch with its eccentric appearance. Its intricate swirling patterns resemble the vivid visuals one might experience on a psychedelic trip, thus earning its extraordinary name. But the mysteries don't end with its appearance. Believe it or not, this fish has developed a unique way to communicate. It emits low-frequency sounds, allowing it to talk with other fish in its community. Scientists are still unraveling the complexities of this auditory language, which adds another layer of fascination to this already spellbinding creature. So there you have it, an enthralling journey into the life of the psychedelic fish, a living kaleidoscope that proves nature is far stranger and more beautiful than any fiction. Continuing our adventure into the world of the extraordinary, we turn our lens to the exotic jungles of Southeast Asia. Allow me to introduce an astonishing acrobat of the treetops, the flying dragon. 
This phenomenal creature is not only an expert tree climber, but also a daredevil that can glide for more than 20 meters. What makes the flying dragon a standout amongst tree dwellers are the specialized skin flaps on its sides. These flaps are held up by extendable, false ribs that function remarkably like wings. These wings don't just allow for gliding. They enable full aerial maneuverability, letting the lizard change its direction mid-flight. Adding to its aviator toolkit is a special throaty skin flap that aids in stabilizing the flight. But the beauty isn't just in its ability to fly. It's also in its vivid appearance. Existing in 42 different species, flying dragons showcase a palette of dazzling colors. Their heads are a luminous shade of green or brown with a shimmering, silvery sheen. Their wing flaps can range in hues of orange, bright yellow, red, or pink, and are adorned with dark spots or dots. Along the edges of these flaps, a silver outline is visible. The males and females are distinguishable by the color of their throat sac. Males sport an orange hue, while females boast shades of blue or indigo. In a world of climbing and crawling reptiles, the flying dragon truly soars above the rest. Step into the lush rainforests of Central and South America, a realm where nature's limits are constantly tested. Here, we find a creature that seems to defy the laws of physics. Meet the basilisk lizard, affectionately known as the Jesus lizards for its extraordinary ability to sprint across water. This spectacle is achieved by specialized scales under its feet, which trap air pockets, giving it just enough buoyancy to skim across the water's surface. This isn't just for show. It's an effective way to evade predators. It shares its home with an array of predators, making its unique skill a vital survival tactic. But the marvel doesn't stop at its feet. The basilisk is adorned with striking green and blue colors, making it one of the most vibrant residents of the rainforest. And don't let its flashy looks deceive you. Its coloration serves as excellent camouflage, blending seamlessly into the foliage. Remember, the next time you think about walking on water, you're not the first to ponder this. Nature beat you to it in the form of a lizard. Brace yourselves as we venture into the treetops to meet the astonishing Chrysopelia ornata or the flying snake. Don't be fooled by its slithering nature. This reptile has mastered the art of aerial acrobatics, residing predominantly in Southeast Asia. This snake propels itself from branch to branch by flattening its body into an aerodynamic shape and gliding through the air for distances up to 100 meters. From their striking coloration to their unparalleled locomotion techniques, the Chrysopelea ornata challenges our very understanding of what it means to be a snake. Remarkably agile and adapted to its arboreal environment, this flying snake can reach lengths up to 1.2 meters. Yet it's not just the snake's length that is intriguing. It's the way this creature moves that truly sets it apart from its earthbound relatives. Not only does it glide from one tree to another with grace, but its unique method of locomotion is the subject of ongoing scientific research. By contorting its body into an S-shape and extending its ribs, Chrysopelea ornata transforms itself into a living airfoil, defying the very laws of physics that confine other serpents to the ground. But don't mistake this snake for a threat. Despite its potentially alarming appearance, Chrysopelea ornata is mildly venomous and mainly feeds on small mammals, lizards, and birds. Its venom is not considered dangerous to humans, which means that although you wouldn't want to corner one in the wild, they're unlikely to pose a significant risk. Moreover, this serpent's intricate patterns and vivid colors make it a subject of admiration rather than fear. Its scales are adorned with shades of black, green, and gold, resembling an intricate mosaic that serves as both camouflage and warning to potential predators. Researchers and herpetologists are fascinated by Chrysoplea ornata for its potential applications in the fields of aerodynamics and material science. Studying how this snake glides could provide new insights into developing more efficient aircraft or even revolutionize our understanding of biological locomotion. So the next time you find yourself wandering in the forests of Southeast Asia, look up. What you might initially mistake for a falling leaf could be Chrysopelea ornata, 
a marvel of evolution showcasing nature's endless ability to adapt, innovate, and astonish. Many have sought immortality, from ancient rulers to modern scientists, but as far as we know, it remains an unattainable dream for humans. Now, let us introduce you to the real MVP of eternal life, an anomaly in the natural world, the Turritopsis dornrani, also known as the immortal jellyfish. This intriguing sea dweller is defying the odds, essentially hitting the reset button on its own life cycle. Found in the Mediterranean and Japanese waters, its cellular rejuvenation tricks are shattering our understanding of mortality, asking us to reconsider the very boundaries of life and death. Once Teritopsis dorani reaches maturity, it can transform its adult cells back into their juvenile polyp state. This cellular regression allows the jellyfish to bypass death, given the absence of disease or predation. Essentially, it could, in theory, live indefinitely, cycling from adulthood back to youth in a never-ending loop. This unique characteristic has made Turritopsis dohurni a subject of great interest in the scientific community, especially for those studying aging and longevity. While the notion of immortality in the natural world is still not fully understood, the immortal jellyfish brings us closer to grasping the complexities of life and death. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing videos. Stay safe and see you soon.